Hey guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today we'll be talking about how to make emissive objects to light your scene and that appear to have some sort of backlighting attached to them. So you need to start off with an emissive material first, so you can make a new material. Let's call it new because I'm not actually going to use it. So First of all, you need a base color, which is going to be the color of the light that you're going to have. So you, I just press three and click, and it comes up with this. Attach it there. Right now, it's black. Change whatever you want. And then just kind of nice blue color. Don't need to touch any of this really. Like if you can touch these, if it's, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to press. If you press S and click, you get scalar parameter. They're really cool for if you want to have like um, the object flickering in color, so it turns up and down if you want the tutorial on that. Um, just drop it in the comments and I can make one. It's pretty cool. Used it before. Um, so you just need to change the default value to, I guess, I always like 20. A good one, and then well, yeah, it's pretty bright. It's always different. 15 should be fine. Might want to darken it up a little bit. I don't know why that's. Yeah, I don't really like that color really. The blue. Yeah, that's just really bright. Okay. Alright, we'll just try that anyways should be enough for now, put that there, the best thing that I will use is just a cube, put that there, make it a bit bigger, put it here, and I'll put the new one, alright, cool, uh, yeah I'm going to turn that down a little bit, it's a little bit much for me. Just, this is something extra, I guess. How do you just go to all and just go? We'll put this out, because it's annoying me. It just reduces the bloom you get. It's really quick little thing here. Uh, I always go to point 0.4. And it just reduces, yeah, a little bit of the bloom. Sweet. And one thing you also need is a sphere reflection capture. I don't know where they are. Hang on. Yeah. Just really, really big. Don't need it to be capturing all of that. So, the actual, the main thing that you need to make it act as a light is to go down here and under lighting. Here, you have use emissive for static lighting. Click that, you build your lighting. And, yeah. You can see now that it is lighting around it. Maybe it's a little bit easier if I pull it over here, just build it again. And it does change, um, like the, obviously if you turn the scalar perimeter up, it'll light more, but just for this it's fine at how it is. So if I press play, oh, yeah, you can actually see that it is actually lighting its area to show that it like when it's not I guess the best thing to do is turn that off again and build again yeah that's pretty much all you have to do is just click that one thing and then there are heaps of cool things you can do with like blueprints and making dynamic materials and you see here that it is not lighting the objects around it it's just reflecting and then just 
it looks like it's just really bright, but it's, it's not actually adding to the scene at all. Yeah, so that was a quick little tutorial on how to make a mess of uh, objects light other objects around them. Um, as usual, just subscribe for more. It really helps out with the channel. And thank you.